Hi, I'm Kristen Thompson with I Love to Create, and today I have a fun and easy tie-dye technique just for you. But before we can get to our fun, we have to prep. Always pre-wash your fabric to remove any sizing. Next, a flat covered surface, gloves to protect your hands, an apron to protect your clothes, and we're ready to roll. Okay, so now that we're all prepped and ready to go, I want to show you how you can paint with tie-dye. So when we get started, we're going to need plastic plates to match the number of colors that you're using. We're going to take our bottles and fill them with water. And what I like to do is fill them halfway first, give it a good shake. And then we're going to go ahead and go back and add more water up to the line. And this will just help really dissolve and mix the dye. Okay, and then once we've got our dye all mixed up, we can go ahead and start squeezing out a small amount on each of our plates we have here. Okay, so now we're going to get ready to paint our stripes. And before we can do that, we always want to make sure that our shirt is damp. Then I have a couple of different size brushes here. Today I'm going to do some really wide stripes. I'm going to take my first color over here. And all I'm going to do is dip my brush in here just like I was dipping it into paint. Take it onto my damp shirt. I like to start in the middle. And you just slowly go all the way down. Now as your color starts to fade, just give it another dip into the dye and kind of come up to where it started to fade and just go all the way back down again. Then you start your next line. Now depending on how many colors you want to use, you can gauge how big of the gaps that you want to have. Okay, so now that we've got our basic stripes on here, you can go ahead and add more stripes if you like, going in the same direction, maybe using the same size brush or even different size brushes to give them different size stripes. But if you want to take it up one more notch, you can even paint plaid. So what we would do for the plaid is we'd start with these stripes, just like this, our basic stripes, and we'd move into our second color. I'm gonna take my green, and I'm, now I'm gonna take a different size brush. And again, just dip our brush into our dye, just as if we were dipping it into some paint. And now we're gonna go the opposite direction. Again, you wanna keep your stripes the same width apart for now. And you're using the same kind of application you did with your first set of stripes. So as soon as the color starts to fade, you're just gonna pick up from there and keep going all the way across. Okay, so now that we've got our stripes in the opposite direction going all the way down, we're gonna roll into our third color. I'm going to take my third color over here, and again, a different sized brush. This one's a little bit thinner than our other guys. And what I'm going to do is dip it in our dye, just like we did before, but now I'm going only going to add it to every other stripe. So, and I'm just going to pick one. I'll just pick this one. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to go down the right side of it. And then I'm going to skip this guy, and now I'm going to add the same thing over here to this one. And you're going to repeat this until you get all the way across your shirt. And then we're going to go back and do it again in the opposite direction. So now instead of going vertical, we're going to go horizontal. So now that we did this one, we're going to skip this one and move right over here. And again, come underneath and just go all the way across. Okay, and then you would just keep going until your shirt was completely covered, got all your lines on there. And then you would cover it in plastic, let it sit about six to eight hours, give it a good rinse, and there you go. That's how you can paint with tie-dye.